today I'm having food from the bootlegger Italian Bistro. Um, I don't think, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but Nick and I had food from there uh, once on his last visit and it was some of the best Italian, Italian food. Oh my goodness. I got the cannoli and they gave two as the serving. How cool is that? Um, but it was some of the best Italian food we had had. The, the literally the best fettuccine Alfredo we'd ever had. The, the creamiest, the goodest. I mean, Napoli's way up there, but and Cheesecake Factory is way up there, but Bootlegger just slayed, okay? Slayed. Um, and I got a very large Caesar salad, uh, Insalata de Cesar, <laughs> I believe. And I got something that I've never had on the channel at all before. Um, and something that I was on only blessed with having on, oh, I got plates and stuff to, to put everything out, but I don't know if I'm going to need that or not. This looks pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had a date one night and this man came over, Italian, and he cooked me dinner in my apartment, okay? This was the last time I had an apartment of my own, um... That only lasted for like three months or so. I still got like serving uh, utensils for two people, <laughs> which that's okay. That's that's quite all right. I, I can be two people. I, I quite literally could be two people. <laughs> I weigh about four fifty. That's that's one hundred twenty five a piece. No, two two twenty five a piece. Yeah, that's two big people. <laughs> um, but I got asabuco. Yeah, this man came to my house. And, well, oh, I said he cooked. He didn't cook. I don't know. I've had somebody cook for me, but they cooked um, chicken cacciatore. And it was in like a crock pot, and he cooked it in my house. This guy bought it at a fancy restaurant <laughs> and brought it over. Asabuco. And it was delicious. And I should get on here and read you what I was in it, because, um... Cause it sounded pretty freaking fabulous. Let me rate my dasher. He was really sweet. He, he handed me another box that I have to open. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and rate rate this food as delicious because I know it's gonna be delicious. Anyway, let me go to the restaurant. <sighs> Come on, let me. <laughs> Sabuco. View store. Okay, awesome. Book. What what all is in it? Slowly braised petite veal shanks. Ooh, veal. And that baby cow. <laughs> uh, served with saffron risotto. Oh. Um. Asparagus. Oh, there's asparagus in there. Uh, tomatoes and zucchini. Oh, it is so pretty. Okay, it is so pretty. Um, okay, let me go. The Ensalata de, de, Ensalata de Cesar. Chopped romaine, imported Parmesan cheese, and rustic croutons with Caesar dressing. Yum! And the cannoli. Maria's orange-scented filling in a flaky shell so that should have like a little orange vibe going on there okay the the cannoli was twelve dollars the um the caesar salad was fourteen dollars and the asabuco this was thirty nine dollars so this is some fancy fare here <laughs> fancy fare okay let me fix everything up for you guys uh, i'm just gonna eat the salad out of the salad tub over here actually candy I should have got two of these little plates shouldn't I <laughs> anyway <laughs> I haven't you know 
Anyway, let me fix up a serving of, of stuff and I will be right back. Pause. Okay. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to dig into this. Uh, I'm gonna eat some of my salad first. <laughs> Mm, because it looks absolutely delicious as well. Very fresh. Oh gosh, that's a big bite already. <laughs> big bite. Mm, should I grab a crouton? I'm gonna attempt to grab a crouton. No, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. Mmm. 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 Oh. And I only used half of the dressing on the whole salad. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That Caesar dressing. Woo. Hmm. 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 I really wanted to order that fettuccine. I really did, but I did not. <laughs> I was like, one meal is good, Candy. <laughs> mm. One meal is plenty. Mm. Mm. like romaine lettuce. Mm. 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 I don't have anything against iceberg lettuce. Mm. But I believe romaine has a better flavor than on my fork. try to keep it full. <laughs> okay. 
I hope I get a good taste of this saffron risotto. Oh, oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I had some asparagus in that bite. Mmm, hmm. Oh, that is lovely. Mmm, let me get a zucchini. It's got some zucchini and mushroom. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Let me see. I've, I had an Asabuco that one time, and I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I remember the guy more than the meal. <laughs> that was an interesting encounter, I'll tell you right now. And the poor fella, he kept calling back. He kept calling and I was like, no. <laughs> and, and I totally ghosted him and I feel bad, kinda. But, you know, I mean, if there's no spark, there's no spark, you know what I mean? I mean, not to say there wasn't a spark that night because there was and, um, you know. <laughs> You know, you know how it is when uh, you go into something thinking that it's going to be one thing and then it turns out to be something else. And um, basically the man was a selfish lover, <laughs> if you get my drift. So I was like, you know, what's the point? I'm not getting anything out of this deal. <laughs> Other than Asabuco and some wine. And I was like, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough, darling. Mmm, that is so tender. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, I got a tomato in that bite. Mmm. 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 I'd be out at a five-star restaurant and I will drop stuff on myself. I would. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Mm, pause. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My goodness. This is delicious. And this really is a dinner for two people. You know, there's enough salad for two people, enough asabuco for two people, and obviously two cannoli. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Oh. Man. I want to pick these bones up and suck on them. Mmm. <laughs> The sauce with the asabuco is thick, velvety, and the flavors are insane. They are insane with all of the vegetables in it. Mm. Mm. And the risotto is perfect texture, flavors, man, I just want to bite this little asparagus, mm -hmm. nice texture, very nice, oh my goodness, mmm, this is worth every penny, Worth every penny. Mm. Let's see. I told you the prices of each item. But total. Oh 
let's see. Total. Woo. Total before tip. Okay. 89.45. Woo. Man, how? I guess. Service fee, estimated tax, priority fee, because I got priority. It was like $2.99 for them to come to me first. Because you know how it is. You order something and they're coming from way across town. And then if you don't do priority, they've got like two stops on the way. So that's another two stops that your food's getting cold, you know. And my food got here fairly hot. I mean, it's cooling off quick. <laughs> but... It's delicious, nonetheless. Mm. 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 Oh my God. I'm like, oh, that bone's got some marrow in it that I could get to. I may have to pick that one up for sure. Mmm. 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 That veal. It just falls apart in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. tomato just popped. <laughs> it just popped. Mushroom. Oh man. <laughs> I wanted something nice today. That's what it is. I had so much fast food in the last couple of weeks. You know, Sonic and Jack in the Box and Arby's. Mmm. Mmm. Last night I cooked. I didn't cook anything fancy though. I had some um, crescent roll. I have two crescent roll tubes. And um, <sighs> greased up my casserole, my glass casserole. And um, put one crescent roll down like on the whole bottom. And I, I <sighs> I would say I was I was screwing up, but I, I didn't really because it turned out fun. Because I didn't list I didn't look at a recipe. <laughs> I just I just started throwing stuff in there, and then after the fact, after it was already in the oven cooking, I looked up a recipe for what I was making. You know, something that sounded like what I was making. <clears throat> and apparently, I was supposed to cook the bottom layer first. I didn't. I just put cheese down on top of it, ham, more cheese, and a top layer, and then I stuck it in the oven for 20 minutes at 375, and it turned out just fine, and I put some mustard, like Dijon mustard, and ketchup over the top of it when it was done, hot ham and cheese, and it was really good, <laughs> it was really good, I mean, I could have done so much more to it, like, in the first recipe I looked at they had like garlic butter on each layer you know a little bit extra I don't care mm. it was good mm. <laughs> and I had those crescent rolls in the fridge for a, for quite a while I mean you know, they were probably just about ready to go <laughs> 
if you know what I mean. But they were good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm loving this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And I still have leftovers. I still have leftovers from my New Year's dinner. I mean. Okay. I didn't want that to keep dinging at me. Just, I didn't want that to keep dinging at me, so. I just, uh, swiped. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. I love it when zucchini has a nice texture too. It's really nice. Oh. Why are people texting me right now? I'm usually still asleep this time of day. <laughs> or I'll just be getting up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Man. Oh, this is so good. Ooh. Mm. Mm. So I don't know exactly. I should do research of my own <laughs> instead of asking you guys, but you know. Some of you folks know Italian food, okay? And I'm wondering, is, is Asabuco Italian or French? Because I believe the, the guy that came to see me with the Asabuco, I believe he went to a French restaurant. So I'm not clear on whether it's actually Italian or something else. <laughs> mm. Mm. But this came from an Italian restaurant, so. Hmm. And I would get my phone and Google, but. Mm. I'm too busy enjoying this. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's, I didn't even have to cut it. It's fork tender. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I like veal. I like veal. One dish I almost ordered was a, I think it was a veal scallopini. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it sounded bougie. And I'm liking some bougie food lately. And I figured if I'm gonna spend 50 to $100 on a meal, I might as well get something good, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man, I'm getting full though, you guys. So as much as I wanna finish this plate, mm, I'm like, man, can I? Mmm. Should I? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Uh, and you taste all of the herbs in here. Mmm. I'm like trying to pick out the herbs that I'm, I'm tasting. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, nope. <laughs> nope, not happening. I'm tasting herbs I don't really recognize though, but it tastes herby, <laughs> put it that way. Mm. My palate's not very educated, as you can tell. Mm. Okay. Put the asabuco down. And I want very badly to suck on all these bones, but I'm going to do that off camera. <laughs> mm. Mm. And a few bites of my salad. Mmm, a little palate cleanser. Mmm. Mm. Have more salad so mmm that is so good all right mm. okay I need a little more water from my trusty coldest water bottle <laughs> mm -hmm. going to enjoy these cannoli now. I'm only going to have one. <laughs> See, I've eaten for like one and a half persons. <laughs> Ooh. It's like we're sitting on a little bed of cream. Ooh. I can see that it's got orange zest. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. 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 creamy I'm getting that hint of orange in the cream. That is so good. Mm. Struggling to eat this right now. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
That was an excellent topper <laughs> to my meal. <laughs> Woo. Oh. I'm full. <laughs> I am full. Oh my goodness. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, that was fabulous. That was a fabulous meal. You know, and honestly, Asabuka wasn't my first choice. I almost, almost ordered from a different Italian restaurant, Cipino. Is that Italian? I mean, it's a seafood kind of stew, you know. Um, and I was going to get that with garlic bread and uh, a creme brulee. <laughs> Another fancy kind of Italian meal, I think. Um, maybe next time. Maybe next time. But I'm glad I chose the asabuco because, you know, it dredged up a couple of memories. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it was really delicious. And I haven't had risot risotto in a long time. Risotto, risotto. <laughs> I haven't had that, that in a very long time. And not with saffron either. Um, it's very good. Very good. Uh, the asabuco that I had, he, he had, um, what is it, a type of pasta with it. What is it like? I, I think it was like a homemade kind of pasta. Um, it kind of looked like egg noodles. They were they were like flat, long noodles, but potentially like handmade or whatever. Uh, it's very good. It was fancy dinner, <laughs> but I think I like the risotto next. I was kind of, a, you know, I didn't know what to expect, <coughs> but I loved it. It was very good. Thank you to Bootlegger Bistro. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> anyway i love you guys i hope you're having a wonderful 2023 so far um we're just here like seven days in all i'm feeling filming this i think let me see uh, no six days <laughs> six days seven tomorrow um i have company coming over this evening to help me with a few things uh i've got a rolling chair not quite like rain's rolling chair um, a little bit different, but hopefully it works for me in the kitchen. Make it a little bit easier for me to, like, move around and get to stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing okay in there, though. I'm, I'm managing. Um, and I'm also uh, going to try to set up, like, a little prep area in my dining room. Um, a place where I can use my little blender and, you know little waffle maker and stuff like that so that I can do some easy like meal prep uh, during the week but I'm trying really hard to do better so far you know uh, trying to stay away from uh, fast food off camera if you know what I mean <laughs> not not to say I'm not gonna do you know fast food on camera cuz you know I fully intend to I mean uh, Burger King was on the list today of potentials to do because they got the, the international chicken sandwiches out again and I've seen a few people like reviewing them and stuff and I remember them from when I was a kid I mean they've probably been out since then but um, my favorite was the Italian but I've noticed that they have a Mexican one that a few people said were like the best ones but I'm not a huge fan of Burger King's original chicken patties though it's, they're kind of kind of kind of sad if you know what I mean kind of you know <laughs> uh, they don't have they don't have a very good texture you know they're not like they're processed very processed chicken patties so I wasn't very excited about that so I'm like yeah no let me do something nice <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me eat this 
beautiful asabuco. And I hope I'm even saying that right. Aso, asabuco. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys very much. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye now.